Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. See, y'all, y'all see what's going on here. We told y'all, man, see. Y'all, y'all, you see the thumbnail. Y'all read the title. See, the money came from the main chess player. Passed down to Yo Gotti, Big Brother, Big Chuck. To handle Young Dolph whole situation. You feel what I'm saying? See, y'all got to see. Hey, just pay attention, man. Because you again, when that bag, when that money come in, you could you could pay off people to create your own chessboard. You feel what I'm saying? Again, especially when it's enough money at play. You know what I'm saying? So now, you the one setting it up how you want to set it up. Especially if y'all see and pay attention how you had your guys like Straight Drop and uh, who was that? Uh, CEO Tizzy and then you had Bang Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Snatching chains from the PRE artists, you know what I'm saying? So that's what y'all got to see. Guess what? Big Chuck, he hired those guys to do that. You know what I'm saying? And that was to send like a little small, a little small message like, Hey, you ain't finna keep playing my name out here in these videos. You know what I'm saying? To see it again. Y'all got to understand, like, a lot of this been building up. You know what I'm saying? So, again, you got your guy, again, Big Juke. Yo, Gotti brother. See, he was mad how Young Dolph portrayed his image to the world of being a big soft teddy bear that wouldn't throw water to a fish, you dig? And, again, this is all alleged because we know that how... Big Jig felt towards Young Dolph for a long time. Like, first they was cool. You know what I'm saying? Even Young Dolph said in his videos. You know what I'm saying? Or not just in his videos, in his songs. You know what I'm saying? But again, this is based on how Big Jig felt when Young Dolph was portraying his image in the videos. You know what I'm saying? Not just how he, when he wrote the rhymes. You know what I'm saying? And again, so... Big Jig, he was mad how Young Dolph portrayed his image. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, come on, man. Especially from the folks on the outside who had no real history of Yo Gotti brother, Big Jig, until Young Dolph had him looking like a big goofy in his music videos. You know what I'm saying? See, y'all got to go back and look at that. And that's the reason why, like, the people who, like, got some respect for Big Chuck, like, y'all got to see how they came back and put that in his face, like, you don't let this dude, you know what I'm saying, talk to you like this, we remember this young dude coming up, you know what I'm saying, and this is how, you know, so again, especially when Big Chuck get a little older, so, you know what I'm saying, he got guys coming to him that's older, you know what I'm saying? That's in them streets. You feel what I'm saying? So, again, when that bag came through, it was easy for Big Juke to pass it down to the guys who was already telling you, like, hey, this is how you're going to let this go down like this. You know what I'm saying? So, again, people got to pay attention. You feel what I'm saying? So, again, your Gotti brother, Big Juke, you know what I'm saying? Again, your Gotti had him, I mean, Young Dolph had him looking like a goofy. You know what I'm saying? And then you had, uh, even in his song, y'all remember Young Dolph's song in that verse. What'd he say? Uh, uh, he ain't your big brother, he your big sister. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't like verse for verse, but that's what he was saying. You know what I'm saying? He's, he, and again, this is how Big Chuck felt some disrespect towards that. So again, from there, Big Juke had it in his mind that Young Dolph, whenever he sees fit, whenever again, especially when that bag came through, when that bag came through, he was really to like set up his chessboard how he wanted to set it up. And again, uh, he just, that was to get it, get at Young Dolph whenever he see fit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do know Big Juke is the sneaking geek with Raven. You know what I'm saying? So Big Juke, he knew Raven had Young Dolph number. So, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly, Big Juke, he had Raven play both sides because he knew, like, she was always trying to use Young Dolph to promote, you know what I'm saying, Makita's cookies. You know what I'm saying? The monster cookies. You feel me? 
But yeah, it's just crazy. We would like to say, of course, rest in peace, young Dolph, and condolences to the family, man. It's just a sad situation how you had, you know what I'm saying, these different factors going on, you know, that's all, you know, for this one person, you know what I'm saying, to get sent up. Especially when that person, again, he was like the Robin Hood. He was, he was doing a lot for the community. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people knew that. So, again, let's get back to it, right? So, again, it says Big Jook knew that Raven had Young Dolph number. You know what I'm saying? He had her play both sides. He knew Raven was the piece to get Young Dolph and Makita's without knowing it was all planned. You know what I'm saying? While everybody focused on Black Youngster over there, Big Jip setting up play. It's called Overlay for the Underplay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to see. So again, he ain't now here to see Black Youngster again. He putting a lot of attention on himself to get all the attention away from, hmm, you know, you know what I'm saying? Again, the main chess players, that's part of it. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all got to see, man. Again, this is why he don't mind being in the video doing all this, right? Again, I told y'all, you got both sides playing here. You got the business side, and you got the street side. Again, all going to, all accommodating each other to make sure, you know what I'm saying? This all, this whole, all, whole, situa- whole situation go as planned, you know? And this man, sometimes it's even hard for me to get it out because it's crazy what's going on here, especially when you look at it, this whole case. You know what I'm saying? So again, Big Jook, Big Jook, he knew Young Dolph wouldn't catch on to why Raven and Maurice kept asking Young Dolph to hurry to Makita's. You know what I'm saying? Don't y'all see? Young Dolph out, but Young Dolph out the way. His business associates can continue business, but receiving a bigger cut because Dolph isn't present. I know you got some people like, oh, this is that, this and that is in contract. Hey, man, well, that main guy ain't there to see how the figures, figures is handled. Hey, man, y'all already know you can't trust everybody, man, especially when you're not present. Come on, man, y'all got to be real out here. So, again, this is bigger than what y'all think is going on. You feel what I'm saying? Again, plus, you got the CMG artists and 1017 artists. Now they can boom without the competition. The competitive nature of Young Dolph, because y'all know how he was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. PRE still gonna bring it. But it's different when the top guy ain't present, man. Come on, we know this, man. Like I said, rest in peace, Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. But let's be real here, man. Man, it's sad. But yeah, then you had the guy Big Jip. He felt some type of way towards Young Dolph for a long time. So again, he was able to dish, dish off some cash to them guys in the streets. Like them real dudes. You know what I'm saying? So again, especially if they had the discontent towards Young Dolph because... He wouldn't mess with they artists. Man, come on, man. Don't y'all, don't y'all see what's going on here? Who, what artist is booming out of Memphis right now? I mean, of course they was doing it, but now they can, they can really do it, especially when they, they, they on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to see what's going on here. So again, them guys, them street guys, they artists, Dolph wasn't messing with them. He was doing his own thing on his own label, and a lot of people felt slated towards that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to see the activity of what's going on here because it's bigger than what we think. You know what I'm saying? And it's real out here. Because, again, especially when that bad guy played, man. And guys is like, all right, I'm going to call, I'm going to handle this person. Again, Big Jook, he got his thing going on. And then, you know, something passed down to Makita's, Makita's Raven. You know what I'm saying? They can set it up and. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever they need to do. You know what I'm saying? Have people at the back door. Have people set up down the street. Call them to say that. Yeah, he on his way. Get it set up. Y'all got to see, man. Hey, y'all know what's going on. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.